everybody, we're going to talk about the prophetic word again today, and today is about the difference between two doors in our lives. And the Lord wants to, for the first time, as I read this a couple of days ago, showed me, revealed to me something about this section of scripture. It's Galatians 5, 19 to 23. And it's very important for believers to understand this. And that there are, in these section of scriptures, two doors described, the characteristics of two doors the Lord showed me. The first door is called the works of the flesh. And then the second door is called the fruit of the spirit. And when we make decisions, we're stepping through doors. You know, the scripture says that God opens doors that no man can shut and shuts doors no man can open. Now, when God opens doors, it's always the fruit of the spirit. And when he shuts doors, it's always, he knows it's going to be a part of the works of the flesh. Remember that when you're walking with him. That if he shuts a door, the enemy comes in to want you to think that that, that was a mistake on God's part or your or hopelessness like nothing else is going to happen. The enemy is in that situation or that circumstance upset that that door is shut because behind door number one is the works of the flesh. And the end result of that is not seeing the kingdom of God. So a lot of times the Lord will close a door to save our soul. And other times he will open other doors to see for us to see what it looks like in part what the fruit of the spirit looks like. The difference between the works of the flesh and the fruit of the spirit. The enemy wants to come in and pervert and corrupt the definition of the two. To think that they both correlate and they don't. There is a distinct difference between the fruit of the, of the spirit and the works of the flesh. So, door number one says in Galatians 5.19, beginning in Galatians 5.19, Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, which is partying, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. There are some listening to this video that their life is based on this door, going through this door in one way or another. And the Lord is saying to you, the end result of practicing walking through this door is those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. The next door is the fruit of the Spirit. The Lord said to me as I was reading it a couple of days ago. He said, love, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no rule or law. So the Lord is trying to show you that when you walk through a door, there's going to be only two choices. The door is only going to be defined of one of two ways, either the works of the flesh or the fruit of the spirit. And if you're wondering which door to take as you listen to this video, it's going to be evident on this side of the door before you even go on to the other side. God's not gonna trick you and say, aha, I gotcha. He's going to show you as a believer that there are evidences that this door is the work of the flesh. And if you walk through it, all these other things are potentially waiting for you on the other side. And like the fruit of the spirit, when we see the evidences and the characteristics on this side of the door, before we walk through it, of the fruit of the spirit, we will see those on the other side. Do you see love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control on this side of that door before you walk through it? Do you see those? Are they evident? Because God will put clear markers on which door you stand in front of. But do you see the works of the flesh? 
because even as Paul said to the church, they are evident. Just like I believe the fruit of the Spirit is also evident. So those listening to this video and deciding on which door to take, and if you're not sure, then stop, wait to see the fruit of the Spirit. That's why Paul said, let's go over to... Uh, Paul said to in Romans, I want to stop for a minute and read this part to you. Romans chapter 1, he said for, in Romans chapter 1 verse 13, he said, I do not want you to be unaware, brethren, that I often planned to come to you, but was hindered until now that I might have some fruit among you also just as among the other Gentiles. Romans chapter 1, verse 13. Now I do not want you to be unaware, brethren, that I often planned to come to you, but was hindered until now that I might have some fruit among you also, just as the other Gentiles. May you be hindered if the door is not the fruit of the Spirit. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you and have a great day.